Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my second video, so thanks for watching whoever has been watching. I really appreciate it, it's super fun. So today um, I'm gonna talk about skin. If you follow me on my Instagram, um, at Alicia Sander, you've probably noticed by now that I'm completely obsessed with skin. Um, it, I had problems with it growing up, so it just led to a complete obsession. So I've tried everything, every laser peel product, cheap, expensive, the whole thing. Um, so I found a product line that I'm absolutely obsessed with and um, a few places here in Vancouver that do amazing jobs with peels and lasers and like I said, I've been to them all so I can give you a little bit of insight. Um, I'm no professional but maybe I could be. Um, so the line I use is called Zio Medical. Um, it's Dr. Obaji. He had a line previous and then branched off and started Zio. So it's the same um, it's the same doctor as Obaji if you ever used those products originally, but these are um, his newest line and they're amazing. So I'm so gonna explain to you what I do in the morning and then what I do at night. There are two different routines. So in the morning I start with foam cleanse. It's a really gentle cleanser, um, no acids. Um, it foams a lot, so pe some people like that kind of foaming quality to face wash. I know I really like it, it makes a difference to me. Um, otherwise, I feel like it's not doing anything. So that's a really good cleanser, good for all skin types. Um, then what I do is I go in with my exfoliating polish. So Obaji makes two different um, polishes. One is called Vita Scrub, and then one is the exfoliating polish. The Vita Scrub has salicylic acid in it, so for me, I don't want to. I'm trying not to overdo it with the acids because it's really satisfying to do it like that. But um, this one is a lot more gentle. So I use the Foma Cleanse, and then I use that, and then I go in with my more active ingredient products. So then I use something called Glycogen which is an exfoliation accelerator. Uh, it brightens your skin, it tightens it, it prevents breakouts. Um, people love this product in this line, so I really like it too. I've been using it for a really long time, so yeah, it's awesome. Um, then I go in with an instant pore refiner. Um, this is a really cool product. It's pretty new to the line, and I just started using it probably a month ago, so um, I don't know if I've noticed anything Super significant but um, anything I can to help refine my pores I will do it um, then I go over top with a um, SPF my Jane Iredale makeup has SPF in it but um, I like a few different ones I'm kind of testing them out to see what doesn't feel greasy or oily um, but yeah I don't I haven't been using the Obagi SPF um, but they have one with a tinted moisturizer in it so um, that's a good option too so at night, the difference is I start with Foma Cleanse again, same product, um, and then I go in with these, which are unbelievable. They're called Sea Patrol pads. Sorry, it doesn't seem to wanna. There you go. Sea Patrol pads have salicylic acid in them, and they the pad itself is a little bit of an exfoliator. So it's got a little bit of you can't really see. Sorry. It's got a little bit of kind of a coarse texture to it, so it exfoliates your skin as well as the salicylic acid in it. So it's a really cool product. Um, for people that are acne prone, that's an amazing one. That's kind of been my lifesaver and what started me on this product. Or sorry, started me on this line and now I just always use it. It's awesome. Um, another trick with those, so the pads actually come in large circles. I cut them in half um, so that they last a little bit longer. So an option. Um, then I go in with Retamax. So this is at night. So this is a retinol. This is, I use a 1% retinol. Sorry. Whatever. Um, I use a 1% retinol. It's an active vitamin A serum. So I'm sure you've heard the hype on retinols. They're unbelievable. Retamax is awesome. They also make a product called Brightnex, which I use. I kind of switch it in and out. Brightnex is also a 1%. Keep in mind, if you're new to retinol, don't use 1%. Um, Obagi has a 0.5% in all these products as well. That's better if you're new to it. It can be really aggressive and cause peeling and flaking and redness. 
So my skin is so immune to it, I've been using retinol for years that I use a 1% on both. The Brightnex is a little bit more of a brightening quality to it, which I like, um, but again, I switch back and forth. I've heard that the Retin, the Retin Max goes deeper into your skin. So, I don't know. I just buy everything. Um, the other one I use on occasion is called Advanced Radical Night Repair. This is a crazy product. It's a 1% as well, but it has no, um, I think it's like a water soluble, so it's really gel-like and it's aggressive. When I want kind of a really intense peel, I do this three pumps in the morning and three pumps at night for three days and it's aggressive, like your skin peels right off. But if you're like me and you love that, this is an amazing product. Again, do it only if you're kind of used to retinols. I wouldn't suggest someone that's never um, had that kind of level of skincare to go and do that because it would probably really aggravate you. Um, another product that's worked really well for me is uh, the sulfur mask. So this I put on um, probably twice a week twice or three times a week at night before I go to bed for 10 minutes and then I wash it off. It's a sulfur treatment. It's good for um, acneic skin. Um, you can also use it as a spot treatment. Um, I typically honestly do it if I've eaten something bad, like cheese or sugar or something that I know I'm gonna break out from. I put that on at night for 10 minutes and then I wash it off and then I do my whole skincare routine. So um, yeah, that's a good product too. So. Yeah, if you have any questions, I mean, the other thing with skin, it's like water, facials, there's so much that goes into it. It's not kind of, you know, if you've had trouble with your skin like I have, you're never going to find kind of the one thing that solves it. Um, it's kind of an ongoing process. I found hy hydrofacials work really well for me. I get those like once a month. And then I also just did a micro needling session, which you probably can't tell. No because I have makeup on. It's a little bit red, but um, they basically numb your face. It's a bunch of little needles. It's really intense, but um, it's supposed to produce a lot of collagen to the skin, which fills in fine lines, um, gets rid of any acne scarring. Um, yeah, it's a really, really cool procedure. So far, I like it. I mean, it's only been two days. You notice the biggest effects within a month is when the collagen kind of repairs itself so yeah I mean like I said it's an ongoing thing but I've done it all so which has led me to be kind of the skin guru of my friends but um yeah so if you have questions please comment subscribe I'll do a lot more videos kind of my routines and things like that um or if you want to know anything else let me know um and i'm also going to be doing some really fun um real estate videos so i'm going to be doing some tours and just like a lot of different um fun aspects of kind of what my day is like because it's all over the place so yeah thank you so much for watching and subscribe let me know what you want to see thanks bye